What nutrient are 99% of Americans deficient in, but if they eat, will poison them? Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back. Fish oil, or omega-3 fats, is that nutrient, right? So let me tell you more about what I'm talking about. A recent laboratory study of tuna sushi from a selection of New York City restaurants found levels of mercury so high that they exceeded the safe limits set by the Environmental Protection Agency and would allow the Food and Drug Administration to take legal action to remove the fish from the market. Wow! No more spicy bluefin tuna rolls. What are we supposed to do? Aren't we supposed to be eating more omega-3 fats? Don't they prevent heart attacks, uh, cancer, and diabetes, and reduce the risk of Alzheimer's, reduce inflammation, and help autoimmune diseases, and depression, and AD and autism? What are we supposed to do now? You know, more media confusion, more headlines, more sales, and more viewers, but not much more understanding. So let me clear this whole thing up with fish and mercury and, and get it straight for you. Mercury will make you sick and kill you. So you can't eat fish, right? But fish oil heals you and is essential for life. So we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, not really. Let me explain. What are the experts saying? Well, if you are a child or pregnant or breastfeeding woman, you shouldn't have any fish. And the rest of us fish-eating males and postmenopausal women, well, they can have sushi no more than once every three weeks. I, I guess the government feels it's okay to poison men and old women. <laughs> Does this make sense? Right? If something is a proven toxin, and mercury is the second most common toxin known to humans other than plutonium, then why would we want to eat any of it? Right? Of course, I'm human, and I think maybe part Asian, and I think from time to time, I can't resist that fresh off the boat, deep red, line caught, bluefin tuna, sliced perfectly thin that melts in your mouth. But then again, I suffered from mercury poisoning, and from growing up on tuna fish sandwiches, too many fish meals while I lived in China, and breathing the dark black, coal soaked winter air of Beijing for too long. Now, out of that experience, I know how to get the mercury out of my body quickly with special foods, supplements, saunas, and chelation. And a large part of healing many chronic illnesses is learning how to reduce our total toxic burden while learning how to boost and optimize your own detoxification systems. In my medical practice, chronic mercury toxicity is one of the most common things I see and treat. It's also something I learned nothing about in medical school along with my lack of training in nutrition. Yet day after day, I find toxic levels in the blood and in the bodies of patients with depression, heart disease, dementia, memory loss, cancer, autism, ADD, autoimmune diseases, chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, neurologic problems, insomnia, digestive problems, and much more. In fact, I think a standard screening test for mercury should be done for everybody in our toxic world. Everyone should have their mercury level checked. Once I, I help them get the mercury out, the depression lifts, memory returns, energy surges, depression and digestion normalizes, joints don't hurt, brains start working, and much more. Now let's look at mercury. Mercury is emitted from coal-burning industrial facilities at the rate of 2,900 tons, over 6 million pounds per year. If you imagine that mercury is toxic at greater than one part per million, and that the EPA has declared the safe level of mercury exposure to be less than 0.1 microgram per kilo of body weight per day, then we are in big trouble. See, the mercury-laden pollution floats through the air from China and our own coal-burning plants, which is about 50 million tons a year, and lands in oceans, rivers, and soils of our planet, and concentrates up the food chain, making us sick. Remember, you ate whatever you are eating ate. In my medical journal, I reported on a conference at Tulane University on the effects of mercury on human health, which you can download for free if you want to read more, which is uh, on the link on my Ultra Wellness website. <clears throat> a new 2006 report from the National Academy of Sciences uh, 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 Institute of Medicine called Seafood Choices, Balancing Risks and Benefits, highlights new research that links mercury not only to neurologic diseases, but also to heart attacks and cancer. And what are most frightening are autopsy studies on mercury-exposed people, right? Adult brains show damage in only a few areas, the ones responsible for depression and dementia. But if exposure to mercury occurred in the womb or early in life, it was deposited in the entire brain and disrupted normal development. But I also find that, that most patients are deficient in omega-3 fats, which, which do the exact opposite of mercury and prevent or cure most chronic illnesses, including depression, heart disease, cancer, dementia, autism, autoimmune diseases, and more. Not to mention that 60% of your brain is made up or should be made up of fish oil. So if you want fish for brains, what are you supposed to eat? Well, this comes down to a very tough decision. Eat fish to help my brain function better and poison it at the same time with mercury. Or is there another way, right? 
Everybody absolutely needs more omega-3 fats, but nobody should take in any more mercury. You can have your cake or fish and eat it too. So here's a solution. Number one, eat only small fish that fit in your pan. Sardines, herring, wild salmon, which, um, or, or, or uh, salmon or, or, or fish raised on an organic uh, farm raised fish only. Second, stay away from tuna, shark, swordfish, tilefish, and sea bass, as well as nearly all river fish. Third, and this is very important, take a fish oil supplement every day, but buy only from companies that document distilled or purified fish oil, which is 100% free of industrial pollutants, especially mercury. Small responsible companies in an unregulated industry provide high quality, clean fish oil. Everyone should take one to 2,000 milligrams a day of fish oil. Vegetarians, if you're a vegetarian, you can still get this, can get the same benefits but need to do two things. One, eat plant sources of omega-3 fats such as walnuts, ground flax seeds, and purslane, which is a green vegetable, and supplement with algae-derived DHA, which is one of the most important omega-3 fats needed for brain function. This is actually produced under clean controlled conditions by a number of different companies and take 100 to 200 milligrams of DHA a day. And then how do I know, how do you know if you're mercury toxic? Well, there are four main tests. Blood tests, which are most commonly done and only detect recent exposure. Hair analysis, which only detects fish consumption mercury. Urine tests after, after a chelation or provocation challenge, followed by um, a urine test. And this is the only way to know your total body burden of mercury. So, and, and lastly, there's a test called porphyrin testing, which is a way to look at whether or not mercury is poisoning your cells. Uh, also, on my written blog, I encourage you to take a special quiz to find out if you're omega-3 fat deficient and to, to learn more about how to do these tests for fatty acid deficiency and mercury deficiency. So, thank you for listening. This has been Dr. Mark Hyman.